what's up guys uh welcome back to this channel um sorry it's been so long since i've actually posted a video if i even have any subscribers left thank you guys so much for watching i mainly just make these videos for me so i can look back at uh, some of the shoes that i've purchased and what i thought about them because i not that i forgot really but more like i just like to document stuff i mean if i'm paying all this money for something i like to document my experience with it so this is a company that I came across um, a while back and people were actually raving about this company. Everyone always asked me once I got into like the Alpha Flies and the Hoka and all these other, um, the, the Treyu uh, running company, all these other shoe brands that I've liked over the years or months or whatever. Um, people have asked me, always asked me about uh, the cloud brand or on, I think they're called either on or on cloud. Um, but like, and I'm always like, yeah, I've seen those before, but I don't know if they're specifically made for running. Like I always, I always heard that people buy them because they hear they're good for running, but they're not very good for running. I don't know if that's true. I've never tried any until today. Um, and then I saw an ad for one for a new pair coming out and I was like, okay, if I'm going to buy anything from on, I'm going to guess the, the company's called on, on cloud, whatever. They have one called Cloud Monster, uh, and that was the one that was like their big, their big shoe. Like they're they're one to rival some of these like uh, bigger shoes out in the market with the higher uh, the higher stack height. And so I, uh, Nordstrom was carrying them, so I, I got a pair from Nordstrom. Uh, wasn't the color that I wanted, but this is uh, the next best thing, I guess. The navy, actually, all three colors look pretty good. I think I wanted the tan ones. The navy was actually pretty cool looking too. I think it had like navy and light blue, but this this will do. Um, and I, I did like the look of the shoe uh right here it looks actually pretty big but uh it, it, for some reason like in person it just didn't it didn't look as big as it did on on online like in the pictures but when i look at it like this i guess because i can see sort of the ridges here it looks like it's really super thick um but i was just gonna wear them casually tonight and i was gonna go for running them maybe tomorrow i think so uh i but i just wanted to get a jump on the video and and just do the get this part out of the way before i did the running review i will put all the specs i found online right here uh i'm not going to go into all that stuff just because i don't know all the technology about about shoes and stuff like that i just know what feels good um and what uh what i like and so i'm a heavier guy uh, 41 years old i'm six or sorry 511 um 225 pounds so i gotta i like to have the soft the softer shoes although i, I do think that Someone told me this recently that I've been having knee is knee issues. Uh, it's more inner knee pain, and a friend of mine told me they think it's because I wear the um, the, the the Hoka's the the thicker shoes, and that something I have like um, I don't know over pronating knees, and so all this weight's going on the inside of my knees. And so I don't know if that's true. I haven't been to a doctor or anything. You guys can let me know in the comments if y'all can help me because it's not like it doesn't hurt like in my knee on my knee or anything like that no like kneecap it's like literally like a ligament on the inside of my leg because whenever i rub it it hurts but then if i rub it for a couple of minutes the pain goes away that's weird um but yeah so here is the shoe uh good looking good looking uh, laces here i do like the laces on this i do like it has a gusseted tongue i think that's, that's the term gusseted tongue it's like a really thin and flat super light shoe um Let's see here. What else do we got here? Uh, Nordstrom did say these are, you need to buy a half size smaller, but another website said they're true to size. So you guys can figure that one out. But uh, I mean, overall, it's a good looking shoe. I don't know if you guys can see my, my eye through it, probably being a little weird there, but um, you can see through it. So there's no like, I don't think it's supposed to be like, so there's a, something in here called a speed board. I guess maybe that's sort of like, if you can read that there, maybe that's their carbon plate, maybe. Um, but this is supposed to be this is supposed to rival like shoes that make you propel forward, which would be like an Alpha Fly Next Percent, which I do know they have the new ones out, and I haven't had a chance to try those yet. But anyway, with my knee issues, I really shouldn't be buying super three hundred dollars shoes, you know. But these do I do love this tongue right now. It's nice and thin, uh, nice and flexible. But yeah, good looking shoe. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this on. And just give you guys my initial, like, I guess, feel. Okay, so right now it feels like it's true to size. So that's good. So I'm an 11 and a half. And I did order 11 and a half. So right now they fit like they're true to size. And I will say right now these are actually looking really good. They're feeling really good. Let me go ahead and take my phone down so you guys can see my foot here. Well, let's see. Is this going to work here? My The new phone won't let you flip it around, so... 
I'm assuming you guys can see that just fine, but it 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 looks really good. Uh, I I was looking at an article that said that people with really flat feet, which I have, aren't gonna like these, but they feel like super wide. They feel really wide. So I don't know. These these might be something worth talking about. I will say I, I've 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 come to find I do like wider shoes. I did give a good I did give a good review to the um, the artist from. Um, Atreyu, which I'm rocking one of their shirts, so shout out to Atreyu. But they're, uh, those shoes are very narrow, and I, I think I failed to mention that in my old video. That's probably a year old, but I did fail to mention that, and I, I've almost like twisted an ankle wearing those casually because um, they're super high, but they're very narrow, so it's almost like walking on a high heel. So if you guys aren't careful in those shoes, you're going to mess up your ankle. But right now, these feel like they are nice and wide and flat, but again, uh, I, I was fooled last time, so... Who knows? But I'm going to wear these uh, shoes tonight and see how they feel. Just wear them comfortably, and then I'll probably go for a run in them tomorrow. I mentioned that earlier, but just wanted to let you guys know again. Um, I don't like buying white shoes because they stain really easily, but this is the only color that they had that I liked. So if I do like these, maybe I'll grab another color. We'll see. But I'm definitely not getting the all-black ones. Like, they're like all jet black. It's really weird. Almost like one of those, like a cafeteria shoe. So um, anyway... So I'm going to wear this tonight and then get back to you guys whenever after I run in them and just let you guys know quickly what I think. Uh, again, this isn't any kind of like super in-depth video. It's more just my experience and how I feel. So hope it helps out. So, All right, about to go for my run. Uh, I absolutely hate filming in public. Uh, I feel really cringy whenever I do it, so I don't. Uh, try not to anyway. I have before. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but there's nobody around. It's just I don't like doing it. Anyway, proof. Uh, wearing ankle socks with these too, so hoping that's gonna be an issue. Let's gonna go for a quick run, see what happens. All right, all right, I am back from my run. Uh, three miles. I put the specs here, or not specs, whatever the numbers that I ran. Album of the run, uh, the used in love and death. I think that came out in 2006. Great album, guys. Uh, the first two albums are my absolute favorite from that band. Um, if you guys haven't heard them, I mean, maybe they're a little dated. I mean, 2004 and then 2006, I think. Um, anyway, I did like these shoes. I did like, I did like the cloud monsters here. Um, I, I there's a one thing I don't like. Well, not, I don't like about them. Okay. Yes. There's one thing I, I don't like about them. My right foot. I just think I have weird feet though. So I'm not going to really, I can't really blame the shoe and I am, I might not have pulled my sock up, but my right foot on my heel did get a little rubbed, but the left one did not. So, and my right foot always seems to be like super weird compared to my left one. I don't know what it is. I did sprain my ankle a few years ago. Don't know if that happened to do something to how I walk or how my step is. No clue. But it always seems to be my right foot that has to, that has some sort of issue whenever it comes to shoes. I always feel something in the right foot versus the left. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, some things I liked about them. I did like these little eyelets here. So whenever you close them up, it pulls it real super tight. Very light material here. Feel, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the uh, Nike uh, Next Percents. Not the, not the Alpha Flies, not the big ones, but the, or I'm sorry, not the big ones, but the ones that are like super, like, you know, uh, light and they have like that, kind of that big sole that goes skinny. Anyway, I can't remember the name of them. Um, but it's sort of that same material. Anyway, very light shoe. I did get a lot of return of energy. Um, so whenever I went running, I don't know if it's the plate. I don't know if it's these big, huge things here. But man, I, I did get some uh, like propulsion, um, if that's the proper term. I got, uh, I was I was moving forward. I was running pretty. Now, I don't know if it's just because I knew I was making the video. So I was like super happy to be in a new pair of shoes. No clue. But I think that they did like, get, actually, I got return on the energy that I put out. Like whatever I would step, it would push me forward. And I actually... W uh, wouldn't get as tired as fast. Um, I was feeling out of it a little bit, but that was just because I had a bad day when it comes to the uh, air quality. I was super sluggish all day um, and out of it. But <clears throat> other than that, um, love the tongue, like I mentioned. Love how light it is. Um, the only thing I guess I don't like about this is it, this is a really pretty shoe. Like this would look amazing in a pair of like jeans. Um, I don't, I, honestly, all I wear is workout clothes these days. Um, but whenever I do, like I would totally wear these with a pair of jeans just because they look really, really nice. Um, but I like these shoes, man. Like they're, they're very comfortable. Like I was, I was very shocked. 
like at, when I was walking in them, I, they weren't, they're not the best, the most comfortable walking shoes. They're a little clunky because they have like these little divots. So it's like kind of ribbed, if you will. Um, I know you guys are probably joke, uh, laughing out there, but, uh, but when you run in them, yeah, I mean, they're like, you're getting some bounce in these and, um, and, and they're super like wide. I mean, um, I'm sure there's wider shoes out there, but these actually, I didn't feel like my arch is falling in. I have really bad arches, I think, or, or, uh, over pronate, whatever the term is where your feet fall in forward. Um, and if you guys, I'll show you guys my alpha fly and you guys let me know if you guys have gotten this sort of wear on your shoe, on your alpha flies, because look at this. Can you see how, how deep that is? Look at that. I mean, that is, and it's on both of them, the same side, everything. It looks like that's like a inch and a half, two inch jut cut out of there just from, from the way I run. That's why I had to stop buying these because, because I can't run in them. Not all the time anyway, maybe every now and then, but look at that. That's like, that's stupid. So obviously it's something that I'm doing wrong. I'm running, I'm running wrong or something. My foot's falling in or something, but, but like I'm starting whenever I wear my other ones casually or maybe even go for one run, I start to see the wear on there. So I'm like, okay, I can't run in these. Not as much as I ran in these because I wore these almost, and I know these aren't supposed to be daily runners. I get it. Um, unfortunately, I learned the hard way that you can't run these more than a few times a week because, um, at least with me. Anyway, I didn't feel that kind of, um, I didn't feel like this one was falling inward or if it was any sort of direction. I got a good heel strike that was nice and soft and cushy and bouncy. Um, again, I think that I think that Hoka's, like my Bondi's, I think those are softer uh, initially. But these are just, they're a little rigid, but they're, but they're bouncy. And so if you're running... You, uh, after the first, I don't know, whatever, I don't know, a hundred yards, maybe you'll, when you get warmed up to them, you'll start moving faster and you don't get as tired. I, I found myself out there really moving in these. So, um, I like these shoes. I don't like the color. I don't like white shoes. Unfortunately, um, I might have to get a different color if I decide to actually pull the trigger on them, but that's, but that's the thing. I want them, but I don't want to run in them. Like I want to run in them, but I don't, I want to wear these like out. But I know that if I run in them, like they're gonna get all messed up, and and you know, and I also will say that someone on I think it was a Nordstrom review or maybe it was their website, but someone did say that something started to peel up, and I, I think it was one of these, one of these, because I'm looking here and it looks like they're like these are glued on. So I think that he said that one of these is peeling off. I think he said like he or she was like, I could easily glue it on, but why would I want to do that for the shoe that I paid 160 bucks for? So it make, I guess that makes sense. But uh, yeah, this was a decent little uh, first run. And like I said, I don't know, I have so many shoes. Maybe I can I can sell a pair and then grab a pair of these just to say that I got them. But I definitely want a different color because I don't know if I can rock the white all the time because it's a pretty color, I like it, but cat for casual wear. For running, man, I could, man, this, this would be awesome in a different color way. Like some brighter colors, this would be fantastic. Bright orange, like a turquoise blue or something like that, or even like a neon yellow or something. But anyway, guys, that was my quick little um, first run in the cloud monster. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this one down in the comments. Again, guys, I'm not, I'm not a professional, okay? I'm uh, just, I just, whenever I like doing sort of reviews on stuff because I feel like, uh, hey, if I, if I went through the trouble of trying them, I might as well let you guys know um, what's out there. I didn't know they're from, what, Sweden? Swiss engineering, is that, is that right? No, that's Swedish. I don't know what Swiss is, Swiss is, and you guys let me know in the comments again. I'm dumb. Um, but guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I will see if I make any more. I mean, I was just excited about trying these shoes, uh, and I don't really have much more gear. So um, hope everyone's doing well out there. You guys keep running um, and uh, all that stuff. I don't really have much of a slogan. So catch you guys on the next one.